Florida Democrats railed on Governor Ron DeSantis today for continuing to oppose stronger COVID-19 protections. But political experts warn the public may not have the party's back after losing seats in the November election. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders reports from Tallahassee tonight. While hospitalizations are lower, case numbers are increasing to summer levels in Florida. Senate Democrats now wanting change from Governor Ron DeSantis. We're not calling for a shutdown but we are calling for harm reduction and mitigation. Caucus members Thursday pushing for more transparency on virus data. We have concerns about the positivity rates and the death numbers being massaged. And renewing demands for a statewide mask order. It's just so simple and I don't understand what the burden is. It's a piece of cloth. The governor is staunchly opposed to such mandates, questioning their effectiveness in front of reporters last week. Has that stopped an outbreak in Minnesota, Illinois, Michigan, what about New Jersey? Through executive order, the Republicans suspended COVID-19 enforcement fines and is taking a hard-line, limited government stance on most other protections. Florida State Professor Carol Weisert says not to expect weakening in the coming months. The Republicans are correct to think that it's there. We're marching along with the orders from the population. Weisert points out the GOP gained legislative seats in the election, which voters likely saw as a referendum on pandemic policies. It's conceivable something huge will happen, but our numbers are so high in the state and people seem to be still sort of relying on the falling on the economic development side rather than the public health side. The state will likely stay status quo, she expects, even after lawmakers return for session in March. In Tallahassee, Forrest Saunders, WPTV News Channel 5.